Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria. Are you surprised to see me here? <laughs> Pastor, for the opportunity given to us to greet the church. I'm sure since I left Abuja, this is my first time of attend, uh, addressing a congregation like this. <laughs> but let me first of all appreciate and thank the church for the architectural masterpiece. This is my first time of entering the premises here. I used to criticize the church when I'm passing on the road. I used to say that, why is it that people will building churches without making adequate provision? for vehicles. So I said, now we are finished this road. They've taken over the, the road. Not knowing that adequate provision is made inside here. So as I came in this morning, I couldn't believe it. And I want to say that it means those who worship here, they have this. <laughs> so, I sincerely appreciate the work I've seen. Thank you. Let me also say that myself and my friends who are here, we have come to join a very reliable and dependable person. The only way you can determine people is only when you seem to have problem. That's when you know who human beings are. Judge Kelly and his family have shown that they are men and women of character. <laughs> I saw for us we have to identify with them. It has not been easy, like he said. Marriage is not easy. And for you to have survived, we believe by the grace of God, they will continue to survive. Amen. I have worked with him. If somebody you can send on an errand, and you close your two eyes, sleep very well, then he will defend you at all costs and at all times. Of course, you can see from his younger brother who is in the assembly. That's how you know people who have character. It's not only George Kelly, his younger brother too, an enemy. <laughs> so, so I believe, I believe, I may be wrong. I believe that is how the larger family is. That is my belief, I may be wrong. But let me use this opportunity too. Sorry, sir, for giving me the opportunity. <laughs> I 
Let me tell you the church. You know, blackmail is the easiest thing. Some of you may have been reading what is going on. Some of you may have also followed on the road without knowing where you are heading to. <laughs> if I were you, sit down properly and ask yourself a question. Can this be true? Or just because we are no longer in power, you may want to believe everything they have said. Power and money, if you are not careful, can destroy you. It can also make you, depending on how you handle it. I have never one day, for the interest of this state, done anything that will bring the state backward. I have never. In fact, it was during my time I fought so many states to win back our oil wells. The money that has come from those oil wells today is not in my pocket, but it's for the interest of the state. To show character, when I was here, I never went to see the federal government. Never. I was only op opposition to the federal government. I challenged them. So that's how you know people who you can say that they want to do something and they will go out and uh, do it. I'm not a man that you can convince just because of the porridge of yam. No. It's not possible. Even when you carry all propaganda, today I hear so many people say, we are from so so place. But nobody remembers who was the architect of now you are saying you are from so so place. Nobody wants to remember. 2014, 2015, when I wanted to be governor, I won't mention their names. Two people invited me to their house and said that the elders of the state want to see me. I went. Take it that really the meeting of elders of the state, getting there are only two men. I said, two of you are the elders of the state. <laughs> two people constituting themselves as elders of the state. You know what they told me? that them, the elders of the state have decided that I should not run an election. I said he will be joking. I left. The same people again have considered themselves now as elders of the state. Check everybody there. Some of them, their sons, lost election. Even lost a record of appeal. Now they have come to be elders of the state. Everybody wants to take a pound of flesh. We can stop me from me going here. We can make me not to be this. We can make me not to be that. Even those that we can meet have also joined them. That's the irony of the world. Judge Kelly has come here to thank God. Why? But for God, Probably he wouldn't have been alive. But for God, probably his marriage may not have succeeded or succeeded. When Bumaya was appointed executive director of finance and administration, the first thing he did was to thank God and then brought his chiefs, his village, to my house and said, Sir. God used you to make me executive director of finance and the administration of NDDC. I see most of you now running to his house every day. Forget that 
I have also contributed in one way or the other. Through Boma, something will come. Through me, something came to Boma. Nobody talks about where Boma is from. I'm an equerry man. But if I call it with Boma tomorrow, that way you will know that, oh, Boma is from so so place. When politicians are fighting, if you don't know the root cause of the matter, don't kill yourself. Because I was just laughing. Those of you who are carrying uh, flags, shouting, I don't know the language you are shouting. Assuming you see another group that confronts you and that anything happens, what will you tell your parents? Something you don't even know the root uh, cause. All you hear, oh, they say they should bring the they should bring that. Being a pastor, there are rules. Being a traditional ruler, there are rules. If you have chosen to be a politician, there are also rules. You must obey. You must obey. I was governor, I obeyed. It didn't stop me from performing my functions. I do governance, at the same time, I go back and obey those rules. That's why you can see me with leaders. I would have thrown them away. But don't pull the ladder you used to climb. If not, when you are coming back, the ladder is just pulled down. I don't know how you will come down. <laughs> I will pray for the church to continue praying for us and let us be firm. We must thank Mr. President for interfering and intervening. But I was not the one who invited Mr. President. You were the one, President intervened. President intervened. President has not intervened. He has no constitutional power. You are the one who said President should uh, intervene. And President has intervened to bring peace. You now turn around that no, he does not have the constitutional uh, power. Aye. No matter what circumstances, President invites me to a meeting and tells me to do something. Within 24 hours, I will carry it out. Because not only as president, but I have subjected myself to the peace uh, process. And if you ask, what is everybody shouting? Some of you do not even know that Mr. President had invited us privately and said, do this, do this, do this, do this. And you agreed. Before Mr. President. And you didn't do it. And President has now invited, okay, the larger state come. We must tell our people the simple uh, truth. I've done my own part. And I'm happy. And I'm doing well in Abuja too. So, all of us should love this state. But don't leave this propaganda. Leave blackmail. There's nothing I'm looking for in this state now. I have my own budget as FCT minister. It's like a governor of the state. I have my own commissioners. By January, I'll present my budget before the National Assembly. I'll preside over the expenditure. All I'm saying, 
if you're a politician, play according to the rules. People labored. People suffered. When George Kelly said he had an accident, you don't know the period he had that accident. But all he had today, oh, they're forcing me to do this, they're forcing me to do that. But all of us, irrespective of where you come from, know that this state belongs to all of us. There's nothing like a job. That's not like a query. All I know is River State. If you want to settle us, find out the facts. Don't just shout Asawana. No. No. Because when we are choosing who will go, we never shouted uh, Asawana. All we shouted, come, you will go and represent us. And that is the way it's supposed to be. Like the apostle said, this place was not passable. I'm sure Zilli Agri's church was shut down in that period. You can't be a governor and then you, you, you look at what's happening within your environment. I say you close your eyes. Part of governance is managing people. If you cannot manage people, they don't have business being in the government. It's not only road contracts. No, management of people. If you don't know how to manage your crisis, then you don't, need, you don't have business to be there. I have had my own crisis. I was there when federal government was changing my police every one month. I stood. I managed it and I survived it. If you have your own to pray. If you can't pray, come and meet pastors. <laughs> they will intercede for you. Me, I'm not a good prayer warrior. But every time people pray for me and I succeed. I remember when this church was at Mass. And you pray that I should give you opposite the uh, where you have the field for the car park. I don't forget easily. And I know you are praying for me then. I don't know where I are still praying now. For me. <laughs> so, all I played with the church, continue to pray for peace. Not only for this state, but the entire country. If the president does not succeed, all of us will suffer it. Now that the economy is biting, is it only few people? And so we must pray. And I do believe that the president will succeed. Some of you that time, he, he didn't want to pray, vote for him because of one propaganda. But now, you can see that you can be a Muslim, you can be a Christian. If you are not committed, you are not committed. If you have no capacity, you have no capacity. It has nothing have, have to do with uh, religion. It's about you. It's about you. If this country fails, Everybody has failed. So I will continue to do my best to make sure Mr. President uh, succeeds. You know, to preside over Abuja is not an easy thing. It's not like River State. Too. That's every Nigeria is there. Big men, poor men. And for you to take a decision, you know, I can take tough decision. And I said, nothing will happen, nothing will happen. If you like, go to the whole social media. Abuse me. If I don't say any abuse, I don't even feel comfortable. <laughs> if I wake up any day, 
and nobody has come to tell me they're abusing you, I said there's something fundamentally wrong. No leader is praised because you take decisions that will affect people so they will abuse you. So don't run away. It's only when you're not prepared that you begin to be scared. For the few days, it's my name everywhere on the street, is it not? We get, we get, we get, we get, we get, we get. But look at that, I'm not macheting, am I? If you check my BP, it's as well as a new baby. Why? I don't even but I don't even know those who are shouting. But you, you are worried yourself. You carry a placard. When you come back, hunger will come. <laughs> so I don't, I don't even bother. Because I know the truth will come out one day. The truth will come out one day. So this church is a, is a good place to worship. And, and since my friend has chosen to do a Thanksgiving here, I will also make it more comfortable. You see how, you see how Nigerians are? You see, the, you see the top of clap and shout. <laughs> I've said the one you like. The ones you don't like, you change your face, you find your face. <laughs> but that will be to Judge Kelly. I'll give it to you before I leave, but I won't announce anything here. <laughs> so you can support the church. The church is playing a major role for those of us in authority. And we must encourage you to continue. But for you, I don't know where this country would have been today. So don't relent. Continue to pray for us. Continue to pray that politicians will say something and do what they have uh, said. It is very, very key. It is very, very key. What I will not do, I will not do. What I will do, I will uh, do. Uh, if you don't like my face, uh, will I die? Am I God? Uh, go and meet God now. Who gave me the face? <laughs> so, you don't need to. If you hate my face, then I know you hate God. And if you hate God, you're in trouble. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, and continue to keep this place clean. I like clean environment. I like when a place is green. I thank God it did not build everywhere. Some people would have built on everything. And they take the road and build their car, their car parks. I'm so impressed. I won't lie to you. I'm so impressed. And those are musicians, I don't know whether they are, they are from here or you bring them in. You know, sometimes, even if you're not in the mood of worshipping, and this type of uh, choristers come out, you must worship. <laughs> you must. So maybe I may be attracted to be coming here. I didn't say I will be coming here. <laughs> I said I may be. So that not when you don't see me on Sunday, you say, you see, you say you'll be coming here. Did you come today? <laughs> so I can tell you I'll find time to come and worship with you. I think for the even if for, even if for nothing but the music alone. <laughs> I can, if if I don't go with anything, I will go with the with the songs. Beautiful voices. Beautiful voices. And this one you brought got done here. 
as he, as, is he a gospel singer too? Because these comedians can turn to anything. They're forgetting their comedy. They are taking other, other people's uh, job now. So I hope you have not turned to a gospel singer. So that I love that one for other people. Take your comedy work. So thank you very much and God bless you.